In this video, we compare the same engine running on a modified distributor to one running map technician. This was an accidental test. We were actually doing carb comparisons, but something didn't fit, so we had to remove the distributor and go mapped. Stay to the end to see a dyna run of what we tested. Here we go, dyna run on a Burton modified Bosch distributor, 175 brake horsepower Pinto, RL31 cam, 2.1, all the usual malarkey, Ashley 421, Q video. So, I'm going to make two statements now. Mac Edition is brilliant. Must have. Makes everything better. And what do you need that for? There's nothing wrong with the distributor. They work perfectly well. Which statement is true? Well, the answer is actually both. But in this instance, which statement is true of a pretty fast road engine? Because the extreme modified stuff, the really high compression, the race cams, yeah, Mac Edition wins every time. It's way better. But your average fast road stuff, is it worth the extra dosh? Q run two to find out. completed. I'm back in my little graph. Map technician in red, distributor in black. At this point, I'll, two things I'll point out. One, on the map technician run, there was something of a glitch at 6,500 RPM. I'm not really sure what that was, but we've got a glitch. The two runs didn't actually happen on the same day. When we did the black ones, it was bitterly cold. We were down to like below freezing. And whilst the dyno does compensate for temperature, pressure, humidity, etc., whatever way you cut it up, the engines always make slightly more power when it's really cold. It's probably why at some points of the rev range, the black run looks slightly better. So in reality, temperature probably flattered the black run. But as you can see, there's not a vast difference. But for sure, round about 5,500 RPM, there's a good bump in the torque curve compared to the distributor. Whether it's worth a grand or more is another matter, but clearly on this engine there isn't a significant advantage. So, as promised, your treat for staying to the end, cube bike carbs. <laughs> 